Hi guys, so I'm back today with another alcohol ink video, which I know is much requested. And I really enjoy doing alcohol ink tutorials. So today what I thought I would do is um, a bit of a like waterfall ink background and then maybe some petals or some wildflowers. Probably actually going to do it this way round. So the materials that I've got today are Yippo paper. I will put links in the description below for everything that I am using today. So I'm using Yippie paper, which is my favourite surface to use alcohol inks on. I'm using a mixture of alcohol inks, um, so I'm using a mixture of Tim Holtz and a mixture of Spectrum Noir. And then I've got some isopropyl alcohol and I've put it in a spray bottle which I use to spray on the page. So what I'm going to start by doing is covering my surface. I'm just going to use a roll of plastic covering. Okay, so I've covered my surface. I've got five main colours I'm going to stick with. I always have a little bit of paper here so that I can test the colours just to see if they are actually the colours that I want to use. Um, so I'm just going to do like a little dot oops, on each just to sort of see how strong the colour is, whether I like the vibrancy. Also when they mix with isopropyl they look different as well. So I quite like to um, do a little palette I suppose. The, fir the first one was purple twilight, the second one was patina, this one is wild plum all by Tim Holtz. This one is sunshine yellow and then the last one is called stream. So I've got a little palette there and I'm just actually going to spray it with the isopropyl just to sort of see how each one reacts. Gonna have a look. Sort of just see. I'm just gonna put some gloves on actually. Um, so yeah, I'm just having a look at these colours. I quite like them together actually. I like the um, how it's going green with the yellows and the blues. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that palette. That's the palette I'm gonna go for. And if you, I mean, if you do this, you'll be able to tell sort of which colours don't go well together and which ones are more overpowering. So to put a bit less of that particular colour. What I'm going to do then is just start to, I'm going to have to work quite quickly because um, the ink dries really quick. Yeah, so I'm going to start with the background and I am going to um, put some dots at the top of the page. And then I'm going to spray isopropyl and hold it up so that the colours run down the page. That is the idea. So I'm going to need a fair amount of dots because it needs to go the whole way down the page. doesn't matter if they connect. In fact, it's almost better if they do. I'm just going to sort of mix the colours up a bit. Okay, now I've got my colours, I am going to drag it down and at the same time spray it with isopropyl. And I'm going to drag that down to the bottom and then drag it this way. And as it's dragging down the page, it's sort of drying as well. There's, there's sort of like a dark line here that I don't like. So actually I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just spraying it again with some isopropyl. So I'm still dragging the colours up and down the page until I kind of like what it looks like, I suppose. Yeah, you never get what you sort of think you're going to get. You always get the most random... image but sometimes you just have to go with it so if you're not liking it I would just 
give it a few minutes and add like a couple of different colors and just kind of see what happens because there's always something you can create out of the mess that ends up on the page and I sometimes just just I'm just like adding bits as I go along okay so I think I'm gonna go for that however weird it looks okay so I've cleaned the background this is what I've ended up with it's all dry um, I don't particularly like these dark lines here but that's what I've got so I'll make it work um, so what I've got now is I've got um, pill dispenser which I've used in my other videos I just use it to put the ink in and um, I've got a bit of kitchen roll here and then I've got two different types of brushes one thinner than the other they're quite thin so what I'm going to do is just put some isopropyl in some of the little holes here and I'm going to use it so what I want to do I, I want to create some sort of daisies or wild flowers I'm going to sort of try and hide up some of the dark bits so I'm going to just dip my paintbrush in the isopropyl and just start to create um, the shape of a flower and I'm just going to dab at it each time because that will take off the ink that's already there. So now I've got like the rough shapes of where I want the flowers to be. What I'm going to do is start to use the um, Spectrum Noir inks. So these inks are slightly stronger and um, they tend to be a bit darker than the Tim Holtz ones. I'm going to use this colour which is PL1 from Spectrum Noir. I'm going to put a bit in here but I'm just going to try and use it as a bit of a highlighter um, because I don't want it to be too strong and what's good about it is it doesn't react too much with the um, Tim Holtz one so you can sort of play around with it a little bit more um, and then I've got a darker colour which is DP4 and I'm going to put some in the one next to it and I'm just going to use a tiny bit of that to darken up and just use, use a bit of um, sorry, tissue paper there to wipe off the excess That's just to define the edges a bit more. Okay, so I finished kind of roughly painting the um, flowers on. What I'm going to do now is the stems. So I've got black here, pitch black. Now what I can do is kind of use this line that I've already got for some of it. Um, but probably what I'll do is try and take some of it out first. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do like a thin black line. Which I'm going to have coming sort of down into the centre. And you might need to go over it like once or twice if it's not that dark. And I'm going to trail a few sort of going off in different directions. And I'm using like a reference image for this, just so I know roughly where I want to put the stems. Okay, I think that's enough of that. 
And then I'm going to use an even thinner brush to create even smaller branches because I just want like really thin ones. And you can kind of decide how these these look. I, I'm sort of doing them quite bendy. And the bits where I've just left a little gap, I just wanted to put like make little sort of buds almost. I'm just spraying the isoprofil. Just to say guys, I completely forgot to end my video, but I wanted to say thank you for watching and I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button and I'll be back very soon with a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.